Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Pale Voyager, and this is Let's Play Dynamite Heady. We're on level 4 right now, which is my least favorite level, but it's still neat. There's lots of cool stuff you can do, like hit balls that dangle, and hit them repeatedly with your mouth. Now, um, if I keep hitting this, I think I'll get a secret bonus uh, point, but if not, Dynamite Heady might just get a concussion and severe brain damage. It's win-win, but I got the secret bonus point anyway, so hurrah! And I gotta get out of the way quickly when I hit that, because while these guys are rolling, you will take damage. Makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, this game adheres to the laws of physics sometimes. Right, Hangman? You awful excuse for a human? Or a sphere? Warning me of danger? I laugh in the face of danger. My middle name is Danger. My parents were beatniks. Oh, and this is great, too. Headcase falls down, and you have about one second to react to it before you get into a boss fight. Sadistic developers. Not that it matters. I mean, Castleface, as I call him. That's his name, Castleface. He has a really simple pattern. He'll lock onto you. He'll try and hit you with a stream of balls, which are ever-present in this game. And he'll try to ruin you with a tightly clenched fist. I'm not even going to touch that one. Look at him. He's so easy... You know, there's no secret bonus point, even the developers don't like him, and I killed him before I finished my amazing monologue. Okay, let's get the suck head and get some, some points there. <laughs> suck head, I love it. I do, I love it. To death. Never gonna get old. Now, you don't need the hammerhead to hit these platforms, but it does make it a little easier, because the hammerhead deals double damage to everything, and basically has twice the effect on everything you use it on. It's a personal favorite for boss fights, for sure. Let's see, more suckhead action. Pretty, su pretty soon YouTube's gonna flag my videos for inappropriate content. Alright, let's go to more danger! Hangman's making a liar out of me. I said this game would stop coddling me and... Oh my god! Did you, did you see... I just impaled him on that thing! Just a minute ago, he was hopping and capering with his friends. Look, they don't even damage me. And now he's hes dead. The life has been taken from him. That sunny disposition is gone forever. He's just cold and rotting. Let's keep doing it. Yeah. Now you might be thinking, what on earth would drive Hetty to commit such a heinous crime on such innocent little creatures? What could possibly drive him to do this? A one-up. That's right. Now, see? All the truth is coming out, isn't it, Hetty? Now we know. You'll step over anyone to keep yourself alive. And you get a secret bonus point for destroying one of the cannonballs, which I'm pretty sure no one does on purpose on their first run. You didn't see that. That didn't actually happen. Come on. There we go. If you're wondering what I'm doing, this is the way to defeat the tank. You, uh... Abuse the ceiling, the spike ceiling, to destroy it. Now, how many games can you name where the spike ceiling actually helps you? None! It's because Dynamite Heady knows how to roll. Okay, um, this is another secret bonus point, which is very obscure. You gotta hit this statue from the top, only. I actually came across this by accident, it's so obscure. Let's get some more points. More danger! I'll be honest with you guys. From here on out, I really don't know where all the bonus points are. Uh, I've never used a walkthrough for this game, so any and all bonus points I've found up to this point are either through luck or because uh, I just found them, you know, by ex exploration. So I apologize for that, but uh, any ones that I do know about that I miss, I will inform you. Let's do a little new Tarzan Jane action right there. And there are more dangly balls here. Well, they're not really dangling, but you can still hit them. And they turn the conveyor belts around. Which is good, because you can only attack those guys from the back. You can only hit them from the back. And I swear to you, it's this game. It's not me. I'm not the one with the sick mind. It's the game, okay? The game is fueling all of this. It can't all be me. It's kind of a tricky jump to make, but it's well worth it. it saves me the trouble of jumping around this platform like a dork. 
All right. This is probably my least favorite part, but before we get to it, let's do the bonus level. And the name of the game is... 15 Shots! Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's do this. Now, I believe that the frequency of Skull Baskets increases, so I'm going to have to slow my roll a little bit, otherwise I'm going to set myself up with an early grave. Hey, I can attack the bombs? Cool, I did not know that. That's going to save me some time. Neat. See, I'm learning, you're learning. It feels nice. Okay. Nope, no you don't. Not in my house. I'm actually really nervous because I've never gotten all four numbers before. These things just get way too difficult. So I'm trying to pace myself as best I can here. Alright. Nope! I bet the last one, this is actually the farthest I've ever gotten. I've never gotten to the fourth one. And I bet the last one just has nothing but skulls and just that one star basket that shows up every, every so often. And it's completely unfair and you cry yourself to sleep at night and you have to start going to therapy. It's just, it, oh. I can already... My heart just exploded premeditatively. Speaking of hearts exploding, guess what happened to me last night? My save state got erased. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it did, and I had to start the whole game over off-screen. Which, in honesty, it really didn't take that long, but it was more work than I needed to do, or wanted to do. The good news is, I got all the bonus points that I had before, no more, no less. And um, the only thing that's different is that the, uh, the bonus numbers that you get from this minigame are different. The first number is still 7, strangely enough, but the second number is now 1 instead of 2. So remember that. Don't forget it. You know, it's not like I could just go back to older videos and check the numbers myself. The burden lies on you, viewer. Don't disappoint me. Oh, I lost one! Okay. This is it. This is push time. Okay. Yos! Vistori! Oh, man. I'm proud of myself. And the magic number is one again. Alright. Are you aware that right now the secret code is 7-Eleven? I almost feel like a taquito. Well, I don't actually feel like a taquito, I feel like eating a taquito. Speaking of taquitos, I think this is where I'm going to end this video. I'll continue from here in the next video. See how logic does that? It's almost like patterns. So anyway, this has been Let's Play Dynamite Hetty. I'm Pale Voyager, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.